Only on 7 News, a moving mess. A company may have a new name and new owners, but still is up to its old tricks. A history of complaints and customers being left in a lurch. Paul 7 investigator Kelly Raybon is live uncovering why the company hasn't been shut down. And we found the way the state regulates moving companies is focused on fines, not on protecting you from companies with a track record of problems. When I got here to take delivery of the first truck from storage, I'm sorry, immediately everything, you could see everything was gone. It was, you could see the water. Tammy Van Boning just moved into her brand new home. These are all our tables. Look at all that. Her family's belongings ruined while being stored by the moving company. Those crates were left out unprotected for the entire rainy period for those two weeks, not covered or anything. And it, it wiped out our house. We're missing a, a 39 inch flat screen TV. Josh Ziegelbaum didn't even get all his furniture back. And here's our missing couch. And that's just the beginning. Bookshelves are broken. This is all scratched up here. How much would you estimate that the, the damage is? Um, with everything missing or damaged, upwards of 20,000. And that's probably on the conservative side. Both families use the same company, King Moving and Storage, also known as Neighbors and Father and Son. And both ended up with tens of thousands of dollars in damage. They were holding our stuff hostage until I signed these waivers and releases. If that sounds familiar. Hey, I'm Kelly. Nice to meet you. That's because they tried to do the same thing to us last year when we refused to pay their fake tax. And if you don't pay for the tax, I can't allow you. You're just going to drive off with a van full of my furniture and belongings. That's, that's the way it is, ma'am. And they did. Company officials said they'd change, and that's a promise they kept. Last December, they changed owners and company names, and in July, changed owners again. But their game is still the same. But this has been a company that we've uh, we've focused on more than any others, and we've received more complaints on than any others. Ron Jack with the Colorado Public Utilities Commission regulates moving companies. This year alone, King Moving and Storage has racked up $16,000 in fines. But they only had to pay half, because if you pay early, you pay less. The current law provides that if they pay 50% within 10 days, it avoids, uh, they're, they're allowed to do that, and basically they admit liability. Still, Jack says the PUC has more authority now than ever to shut down movers that don't pay their fines. But do they really? Uh, if those violations occur, again, we can double the fines and then triple the fines. But as long as the company is able to continue paying those fines, there's nothing that can really shut them down. Correct. The, the, the law uh, limits us to acting when, a, when somebody does not pay the civil penalty. And what about the damage? The commission has no jurisdiction. The legislature didn't give us any authority to regulate uh, damage. I think if we're going to have an oversight committee um, or organization that needs to actually provide oversight. If not, it's, it's a waste of taxpayers' dollars, and it, it doesn't offer any protection whatsoever. The Call 7 investigators found the company's current CFO was released from federal prison earlier this year after serving time for drug charges. And the new owner, Henry Aragon, was ordered to pay $275,000 last year after the Colorado Attorney General said one of his other companies deceived and defrauded consumers across the nation. You guys also did another story about them, and they are as crooked as a dog's back leg. For Tammy and Josh, they're left with broken homes and a state agency with little power to protect future customers. What do you think should happen to this company? I'd like to see them shut down. We are doing what the legislature is allowing us to do. The company's new owner, Henry Aragon, refused to interview with us for this story, but his CFO tells us the company is changing its name yet again to Go King Moving in Storage, distancing itself from problems. Live in the newsroom, I'm Call 7 investigator Kelly Raybon.